Hi guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender. This one's gonna be for beginners. We're going to design some sci-fi light. Been playing Mass Effect recently and got inspired with a few shapes. So we're gonna create something a bit different, but in a Mass Effect style. So uh, Shift A and add a cube, and then S and scale it down, and S Z scale it on uh, Z, and let's apply scale. So Control A and apply scale. And we're going to SX, you know, scale this one here a little bit. Then Control Alt, click on one of these edges. So go to edge mode. I'm using, by the way, the uh, uh, machine tools for switching between modes. So normally what you do is uh, you, you switch in here, press tab and switch in here. I simply use a pie menu. I can very quickly switch between object, edit, edge, face, etc. So I go to edge mode. So I press tab, hover, and release. And then Control Alt, click on one of these edges to select the whole loop around. And Control B to uh, bevel this, right? Go to solid mode, Q, and, and let's click on bevel to bevel this a bit. Let's uh, make this bevel a bit smaller, kind of like a tiny one, right? Cool. So let's go to side view uh, with the tilde key, uh, right view, and uh, orthographic with forward slash. Make sure you're in box cutter mode, so press, press Alt W to activate box cutter. This will activate box cutter and toggle between hard ups and box cutter. Press D to make sure we're going to be in angle mode. So if you're in box, switch to angle. You can also do it very quickly like this. And uh, let's draw an angle here and click and um, we done and uh, let's not sharpen this yet let's add weighted almost so q and alt click on sharpen peachy now let's uh, activate this snapping dots here shift v and make sure that you're in object mode and we're gonna hold control and we can start drawing from here so let's switch to box and hold control and start drawing from the middle here and we're gonna actually cut it in like this okay like that and um, let's recover this cutter and let's um, actually shift pull which will change this m middle uh, bit here into a cut we're going to apply modifiers here so we're going to smart apply this and go to edit mode select this face and g and uh, y so we can extrude it here a little bit and we're going to drop a loop so go to edge mode and Control r to drop a loop and move it out here maybe to somewhere here go to face mode and we're simply gonna extrude it down uh, like this okay cool so we got something like this select these two faces press f to combine them e and extrude it up yeah so we got this kind of a uh, uh, sort of a connection here which is great go to side view now with this face selected here on the top right go to side view and control right click here and one more time here and this will create um, just kind of an extrusion in an angle uh, which is great um, we need to kind of uh, fix this a little bit here because it's not really straight so what we're going to do is select this face and S Z zero which will um, zero it on uh, Z axis and here S Z zero uh, which will zero it on the uh, Z axis as well. And we got this kind of a shape, which is great. And uh, that's what we want. Cool. Now, what we could do is, uh, you know, make this a bit more supple. We could also alt click this entire loop here. Let's just press W to turn off the box cutter. Alt click this loop here because we don't need it. And we can just, you know, dissolve it. Alt click here, press X and dissolve it. All right, good. Now, this. Uh, bit here is not straight i can see that i can see aliasing going on here so let's see if it's actually straight select this face and s y zero you see it wasn't straight actually and this one to s y zero this will uh, make sure that you know this element here is straight and also this one should be on the same level as this so make sure that in um, preferences under uh, mm, machine tools right you have uh, all these options that I have enabled which basically will allow you to uh, perform an alignment okay 
um, especially this one align it's really important okay and also align pies so now um, when I'm going to select um, all these verts here and select this one and press alt a and right they're gonna get moved to the right side and align with the main structure we don't actually really need that many faces here so just press F uh, same in here we can just press F and we can uh, alt X with mesh machine if you don't have a mesh machine, what you can do is alt text with hard ops and switch here from uh, bisect to symmetry and simply symmetrize it to the other side. Same effect, okay? Um, I don't really need this line in the middle, so I'm gonna uh, go to edge mode, select this one with alt, okay, all this loop and uh, dissolve it, right? Peachy. So now go to uh, edit mode, select this one with alt, and this one is shift alt, control B, and scroll your mouse a little bit. And now I need to think how I wanted to tackle it. I want to, you know, create something like this, so maybe something like this. I think this one is going to be more interesting, so I'm going to go with this one, right? Cool. Awesome. Now we can, you know, make this a bit more interesting here. So let's go back to box cutter LW and make sure we're in end gun mode. And we're going to slice it from here, okay, like this, right? Boom, right? And let's just Alt X and we have symmetry, so we need to reset it. So Alt X, press X to reset the mirror and uh, from symmetry to mirror and do something like this. Cool. Now let's grab this end gun, right? So F scroll and let's rotate it, okay? So uh, S, Z to scale it and then we're going to rotate it, hold control to snap it. So we're going to get this line snapped here. Uh, I don't want it to be in the middle. I want it to be somewhere either here or here. And I think here is going to be a bit more interesting. So move it in here. And that's great. Let me just grab these uh, very quickly and move them to collection. You probably have a collection already. Um, I'm just going to create a new one. It's going to be just called collection. Okay. And okay. And I'm going to switch the places so you're not going to get confused. Because when I press shift 2 now, I can hide and reveal cutters. So we're going to be on the same page. D for box, and uh, I want to cut an opening here, that's for sure, kind of like this, right? Press B for bevel, and click, and then we can move this a little bit to the middle here, and just click and, you know, um, cut it through. I'll take and symmetrize it, so it's actually symmetrical. You can do the same thing in here. Now, to align ourselves with this face, you can click on this face, press Q, go to ST3 Mesh Tools, and here you get Align View. I have a shortcut Control Q. You can set a shortcut for yourself if you want to. Control Q is assigned to uh, quit in Blender, so we need to go to Key Bindings first here, and pr uh, type Quit, and just simply press on X wherever you see that Quit Blender. I don't have it because I removed it already. And then you're gonna have a one more free shortcut so what you need to do is go here right click right and um, add shortcut and just simply press ctrl q so press ctrl q to align it i'm going to click it okay in empty space move it in here go to solid view and um, cut another another you know cut in here like that i'm going to press b and simply slice it i'm going to move it a bit to the left so ever scroll and Move it a bit to the left, so it's going to be in the middle. Maybe a bit, a bit wider, so SX, and going to scale it in here, and then select this one, Alt X, and Mirror. Cool. Shift 2 to hide it. So we have this kind of a thing going on. Now we need some interest from the side, so we can, you know, uh, cut a really long cut in here, just for fun. Okay, boom, like this, to just add a bit more interest to it in fact i don't like it i'm just gonna do it with an end gun uh, create a bit more uh, of uh, interest on this side um don't know if it's gonna be not too thin optically but we could do the same thing in here you see so it's okay right uh, i could create another cut in here um you can hold control to release the lock uh, by the way, I'm using uh, Endgun Lock, which is here. So if you press D and go here, you can enable Angle Lock, which will enable you to, when you draw a 
cut with the end gun allow you to snap into increments when you press control uh, you will release that snap so you can freely you know draw a cut here all right this is cool uh, this one is a little bit too um, too crazy so I'm going to actually cut it like this uh, and we're gonna create some kind of uh, uh, device in here go to angle let's slice this maybe let's slice it according to this angle here so it's gonna kind of match like this that's interesting enough Control click on sharpen to apply the booleans. Now we're going to um, recover this cutter. So Alt H and Shift 2. Grab this one, right? And we can change it to solid. So we can go to settings and shade solid. And we can move it to collection. So M and collection, Shift 2. And we're left with this shape. Um, we can scale it on X a little bit. And uh, let me see that now. This one is a little bit too angular, so we can just, you know, kind of make it a bit more supple. It's a lamp. You don't want anyone to get hurt. Um, we are, again have the same problem with mirrors, because you can see it's empty over there. So what we're going to do is go here to operations and smart apply. And let's just simply cut this off and now it should be okay, peachy. You know, because you, you don't want a sharp edge like that, maybe a bit here. There we go. That's cool. Awesome. Let's apply the bevel. Okay, so let's go here and let's actually apply everything. So what we can do is Control A and Visual Geometry to Mesh, which will apply everything. We have these sharp lines in the middle, sharp edges. We want to get rid of them. So we're going to go to Solid Mode, Q, and Shift Control on uh, Sharpen, okay, which will recalculate um, sharp edges, which is what we want. Cool. So let's go to Edit Mode, grab this one, uh, insert it with I, yeah, and G, X, and move it a bit outside to create something like this. Let's mirror this to the other side and create a bevel on top of it. So, you know, let's go with the bevel and make it a bit less crazy like this. Cool. Now we're going to go with an end gun. And in fact, it, it, this was a cutter. So the line here that you've seen is a parenting line because cutters have been always parented to geometry. To remove it, you need to press Alt P and clear and keep transformation um, otherwise if you move this object uh, this one's gonna move with it that's what the parenting line indicates okay well, we need to create some cool shape in here so let's grab a box and let's go back to this these snapping dots make sure in object click and you can start drawing here from the middle like this and then uh, let's just shift click it to um, change it to um, a live boolean and we're going to edit this okay so go to edit mode and we're going to go to local select this face go back to uh, normal view gx or oh, sorry gy and move it all the way in here right then go to edge mode alt control select this one so you're going to select the loop of edges and we're going to control b this so we're going to bevel them and try to match uh, this bevel but you see it's clamping so press c to lock the clamping and boom we're gonna get something like this awesome so we got this going on and now what we can do is actually uh, create a lamp in here some kind of uh, you know lighting now i wanna i wanna cut it through like this just for fun so we're going to do this one press k for knife and slash it then we're gonna get this one we can go to Q and Alt click on your macro and expand it. Okay, we're gonna get this kind of a situation, which is interesting. And now what I do now is grab this edge, uh, this edge, and move it on the angle so it kind of corresponds, right, uh, with uh, you know more or less with these angles here. The same with this one, and I'm gonna move it the other way, but um, I'm gonna first move it here on, you know y axis and then i'm going to move this one so edge mode here and gy and sort of move it in here we still need to move this uh, face a little bit more so it kind of aligns here so gy move it here so you see there's a corresponding sort of a motif here with uh, with angles i have no idea what's going on here uh, so i'm going to dissolve this vert and uh, we lost an edge here so what we're gonna do is uh, simply marry to the other side and connect these two with j 
and then we're going to remove this edge in the middle and boom sort it not sure what happened there again if you don't have a symmetry with mesh machine you simply do it with hard up so alt x one more time go here x to reset the mirror and symmetry and you're done right cool so we got this going on now what we need here is some kind of you know um lamp situation so what we're gonna do is uh, go with a box right and cut it here from the top right here so select this cut it from the top press x to go to cut mode and x to uh, switch to slice and this will do let's uh, apply this so smart apply and i'm going to grab these two and chamfer them so i'm going to control b i'm actually beveling is also working select this one and um let's alt click on sharpen to add weighted normals here as well great now i want to create a chamfer here so let's go to local mode and you see here i want to create a chamfer okay all around this edge so select with control uh, here and uh, here as well so all around and control b and scroll your mouse down to create a chamfer okay wicked and then again alt x uh, alt x and make sure in symmetry mode and symmetrize to the other side you can mirror as well in this situation to be honest so that's cool and i want to make them a bit smaller yeah so s shift x so they're not gonna get scaled on x axis and i'm gonna scale them in a little bit and then gy and move them in here like this yeah so you know, I got this kind of a, a bit. Cool. Let me just save it because I haven't. And I'm going to run power save on this one. There we go. Cool. Um, so we are getting somewhere. Now, what we could do is uh, make this stand a little bit less insane, a bit more airy. Um, so we could just, you know, grab an end gun and let's just switch here with D to cut. And, you know make it a bit less crazy here so kind of more and uh, that's a bit too deep maybe uh, maybe somewhere here there we go so it's not so you know um not so thick also here could create some cut as well just for the design sake you know now i'm just having fun simply uh, you know mirror to the other side press x to reset it because symmetry will not work with live bullions here. Yeah. So we got the cutter live here, right? Um, so you can ever scroll and scroll it up to here. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, slush it with another cutter, right? So we're going to slush it here with a cut. So switch to cut and, you know, slush it in here. And then we're going to recover a cutter of the cutter. So ever scroll, right? So this one. And we're going to slice it from the top like this, right? So now, um, if you go back here and you simply ever scroll, um, we got this cutter here and we can do something like this, which is pretty bloody cool. Um, let's one more time go here and recover this end gun cut here, this one. And I want to slice it in here, okay? So I want to slice it like this. Uh, grab this end gun and recover uh, these cutters, right? And we're going to slice them here. So we're going to slice them on the, in this angle, okay? So like this, they're going to correspond with this uh, cut in here. Shift 2 and we're done. So, you know, this is just a bit of a more, uh, more of an interest here, which is awesome. Let's apply this. So operations and smart apply and we can just go to box and, you know, create some cool notches here with W. So with a wedge and um, maybe another one on the other side. Or we can do something else on the other side. So uh, maybe something like this. And press W to remove the wedge B for bevel and boom. And we're simply going to uh, mirror to the other side. Cool. Nice. All right. So we kind of done. Um, here we could, you know, have some... Um, some bolts knots whatever so just simply shift t to scale it a little bit and t 
to create something like this and mirror this to the other side and uh, you know Bob Jungle awesome and we need some mounts in here as well so we could just you know create some cuts in here maybe some bolts uh, this could be done with decals press V for array X to change you know the uh, the axis and simply E to extrude it down and press T to create these kind of uh, bolts here in the bottom I mean on the top all right guys that's uh, that's it I think um, I think we're done here I'm gonna create a cut in here so one cut and then uh, hold control and double click uh, let's remove these and go to view mode and double click and double con with control yeah actually three will do there you go that's pretty cool awesome maybe some another cut in here it's gonna go well with this one on the bottom can move it a bit to the uh, to the right so if have a scroll and G Y and move it closer so it's kind of you know corresponding with the one on the bottom that's pretty cool nice all right cool awesome well that's it guys a simple sci-fi lamp hope you enjoyed the vid give us a sub and like if you did and links to hard ups and box cutter in the video description thank you for watching catch you next video